Hello everyone, Barb here from barbaderholt.closetomyheart.com. Today we are going to play with this Stampin' Thing Cut set. This is the Say It With Flowers. Um, this is a stamp of the month for February 2024. The images in blue are all thin cuts. So everything except for the sentiments. And this has great sentiments. Thinking of you, grateful for you, friend, and sending you love. I thought we would use the sending you love to make a Valentine. So this is the card. And I'm going to show you my semi-cheater method of coloring because if you've been watching me for a while, you know coloring is not my scene. So I do have card base. Card base is four and a quarter by five and a half. Just a standard E2 card base. We'll get that out of the way. I also have a black panel. This is four by five and a quarter. We'll be using that. And then the white panel is three and three quarters by five. I'm going to set this down here. I've also die cut out two of this image and two of each of these little buds. And that's what I have sitting over here. Before we begin, I will show you the colors we're using. I do have my Onyx Black ink. Then here we have Mink, Limeade, Ballerina, Flamingo, and Rosie. I thought that was a nice, pretty Valentine-esque set of colors. We will start with the mink and we're using this image right here. I'm going to load up the ink on here and I'm just doing a little bit of stamping along the top. And then I'm going to repeat on the bottom corner. This is just to give a little interest for the background. The next thing we will do is start to do some blending. I've got a pink brush here and I have one that I use for green inks. So we're going to start blending on these images. Think we can do them both at the same time. Got the ballerina and I'm just looking at the image here just to get an idea of where that color can go. Same deal here. Then I will bling, bring in, bling in, haha, bring in flamingo. And I think I'll do this down here. This doesn't have to be perfect. Just looking to get a little bit of color on here. I am also going to do flamingo on. The two smaller blooms that I put here. Then I'll bring in the rosy. Rosy's a really pretty color. I don't use it near enough. So I'm going to put it up there. And then we'll do these two in rosy as well. Now we'll bring in the limeade to do the leaf areas a little bit. I'm just kind of hitting the edges. Even a little bit in the middle. There. 
Now I will bring in the VersaFine and we will start stamping on these images. I'm going to start with this little guy. Hopefully my head isn't going to get terribly in the way. Oh, not bad. It doesn't have to be perfect. That one was better though. And then this big guy. For this one, I like to lay the block down and pounce my ink onto the image. Let it go down, give it some pressure. Sometimes I do just a little rub gently. Oh, doesn't that make it look good then compared to that? Oh, I love it. And one more time. Everybody hold your breath. I'm trying not to get my head in the way. Again, a little pressure. Yes. Yep, that works. I'm going to close this up for now, but we will need it. And clear out some things here. We just keep these all in a little little jug. I'm gonna bring in the panel and we're gonna lay the images out and some is gonna go under and one can go over. And here we'll do maybe an under there. And this could go over. Something like that. And I'm going to use some glue. You can use whatever it is you'd like. I am going to just start here on the bottom. It's okay if it hangs over the edge because we're going to give it a little trim. And same at the top. You can put the glue on the piece or on the panel. It is up to you. Sometimes I like to put it on the piece because then I know I'm not getting glue off the edge. And sometimes I don't remember and I pick it up. So we're going to do it both ways. And you can see that it works just fine. So now what we want to do is flip it over and take some scissors. I have my big long Tim Holtz scissors. I think they work well for something like this. But you can use any scissors you like. And we're just trimming off anything that hangs off the edge. We go just like that. Now before I put this on the card base, I'm going to 
stamp my image. Okay. Oh, nice. I'm gonna stick this back in here so my glue doesn't dry out. Give me grief. I'm gonna use my ATG, but you could use glue. But I am using the ATG. And I'm gonna square this up onto the black piece. Just like that. And then we attach this piece to the card base. like that. Now if you wanted to you could take a little bit of shimmer brush. I do have a little bit of a some sort of a pink and you could do a little patch in on here just to give it a little shimmery goodness and I love the shimmery goodness. And you could also a little rat-a-tat-tat. I like that. I think that looks nice. I don't know exactly what color this is. It looks like it could be maybe ballerina. That's a good choice. Close anyway. And there it is. Isn't that pretty? Oh, there you can see the glitter. Isn't that pretty? I love that little sparkle. And there you go. The February 2024 Stampin' Thin Cut set, Say It With Flowers. Isn't that neat? I love it. Lots of good useful ways that that can be used. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe, I sure would appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button and then click the notification bell. Have a blessed crafty day, and I will see you next time.